Hey everybody, today I'm here with another tip to make your life a little bit easier using a tool called Zapier, which is very similar to the IFTTT tool if you've ever used that, the if then then that state um, tool. Um, but this one I really like because what it's gonna allow me to do is take a spreadsheet, in this case a Google spreadsheet like this, in which there is a whole list of meetings and I don't want to have to go through and type in every single one that I'm involved in into my Google Calendar. It's just a waste of my time. So how do I get these meetings here that involve me and the people and the location and all that into my calendar like this in a very simple, easy fashion? We're going to learn right now. So what Zapier does is allows you to, you can use one that's already there. And so for the sake of this one, I actually built one from scratch and then later realized that it already existed. Um, and so you can see some of the popular ones that are already on this website. But the one that we're gonna use is creating a Google Calendar event from a new Google spreadsheet row. And so we're gonna open this up that's already been created for you. I'm going to walk you through this step. Now, for you, when you use this one for the first time, it'll walk you through every single step of what you need. Um, so actually, let's do that. So I'm going to go and move this over here a little bit. Um, and we're just going to recreate this one. So we're going to make a zap. And we are going to use Google Sheets, right here, we're gonna search for the trigger. Uh, we're gonna choose a new spreadsheet row. So when a new row is added, um, it'll automatically kick in the recipe. This could be great if you're using Google Forms or anything like that. And so I'm gonna click that. Um, I'm then going to go through and I'm going to choose my accounts. Um, and so you can connect and, and add your accounts. Um, I'm already ready to go um, with this, but for you, you would just sync up your school account or personal account, whatever, whatever it might be. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up. And then I'm going to pick my choices. You click down here and you can actually then start to search all your different sheets that you have. For me, um, I want this project tuning Zapier, one that I've already created and I've already got it. So and I'm gonna, and for this worksheet, this is just what sheet it is. So for those that don't know, it's down here when you have these different tabs, you can rename these, you can right click and rename. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it sheet one. And so we're gonna pick sheet one here and we're gonna, we're gonna continue. Um, and so once we have that, uh, we need to have at least one created and make sure it checks. So we're going to go and we're going to go ahead and fetch and continue. It's going to look, it's going to test it. Good. We're good to go because we're using this one. I already have the headers and I've already got uh, one example in this sheet. So when we go back, we're going to go ahead and continue. And now we want the action piece. So what I want it to do is I want to go and create an event in my calendar. So I'm going to choose Google Calendar here. And you go through and what I want to do is I want to figure out what it is that I want. You have a lot of options here. You can update the event, just a quick little event. For me, I want a more detailed one because I want to know who I'm working with, the location, the times, and all that. So I'm going to choose the more detailed one. And I'm going to go ahead and continue. And then you're going to sync up your Google Calendar, the one that you want. I already have that, but for you, you would choose connect new account. You sync your, your Google. It's really, really easy. Um, so I'm going to choose my calendar. It's already there. Now from here, in, in my personal uh, Gmail calendar system, I have a lot of different calendars built in. So when I go in here, I'm going to choose whichever calendar is that I want. Um, and for, my, for me, I want to use work because that's – where I put all my school events is through work. Um, I can go through if I want to and, and type all this in. So the summary is what's going to appear here in the calendar. And so this is the header that pops in. 
So what I like to do, because these are project tunings, I can type in project tuning and then a space, and then I can add the names of any of the columns. These here are all being read from this spreadsheet, which is pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to just choose the last name of the project team that I'm going to be going for. And then I can type in um, a description. But for me, what I'm going to include in my description, the way I've been doing these, is it adds the other people that are going to be involved for me. You can make this whatever you want. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to choose the tuning team. The location will be right here in the room column. Um, the one thing that you have to have is a start and end time. So this is important that you have that built in. So here is my start time. This column is my end time. Um, I leave the rest of these all blank. Uh, and so I don't like the mess with anything. You can, you can add all these different features. Um, so I don't mess with, with any of those. Uh, I just have the default reminder turned in. And then I go to continue. And it shows me everything, how it's going to pop up and look. Looks great. It was successful. So then I would go to finish, and then I'm just going to put tuning tutorial, uh, and I can turn it on right here. And once it's on, it's ready to go. So, and your dashboard, it's right here. And I'm actually going to just uh, delete this one because I don't need two of these running. Now, because I'm using the free account, what will happen is every 15 minutes, this will automatically check for new rows. But what you can do is you can go to this drop and you can run it whenever you want. So here's what happens. Here is the schedule. And what I've done is I've just created another spreadsheet to make my life easier. And so I talked about earlier, I don't want to type all this stuff. So because this one's already been created, I, got, I have to do something different here. And so let's just go down um, to my next one here. Here's one right here that I have not entered into my calendar. As you can see, this is from May 15th. And on May 15th, I don't have anything in there. So now all I have to do is just paste this in. I need to add the time. Um, One thing that I have found is you want to make sure that the AM, PM sometimes in there. So boom, there it is. Now I could wait 15 minutes for it to run. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go here and click run. It's going to run this. It's going to check. Are there any new items? It's going to say yes. There was one new item and it was sent to the calendar successfully. So now when I go here and I refresh my calendar, here it is. Project tuning for this teacher, F4. I can go into the event, I can see everything that I need. So now all I have to do is just copy and paste the ones that involve me over here into the spreadsheet and I'm done. How awesome is that? So as opposed to spending all my time typing, it took me literally three minutes to set up a trigger or a recipe. I copy and paste, which is another two minutes. And in five minutes, I've got my whole calendar ready to rock and roll. I hope you found this useful. Let me know how you could use this in your classroom, in your job, in your personal life. I would love to hear from you. And if you're using Zapier, how, what are other ways that you're using it? Because just because I'm sharing one idea doesn't mean I know it all. We're all here to learn together. Have a great day. And don't forget to stay awesome.